Hi, the Midrange Overdrive with another video for Path of Exile. Uh, this time about the latest manifesto that GGG released about jewels and ailment mitigation. Uh, the way the manifesto is built is it's weird in my opinion. Because they made they made it clear that they would separate like each subject in separate manifestos. But yet we get no examples of nothing, like no mods to see what the actual numbers are, no new unique jewels, so until we get either the live announcements or the patch notes, it's gonna be hard to say if this is good or bad, I really don't fucking know. It could be either. So everything comes down to how it's gonna be implemented. Uh, so let's start with the ailment modif modifiers on jewels. Um, the first thing I thought about was it's diluting the mod pool for jewels. Like if you want to get a good crit jewel with maybe just four crit stats or life or whatnot, it's gonna be harder because now we're gonna have avoidance or resistance or whatever they call it for ailment mitigation because. They feel we don't get enough ailment mitigation, so if the numbers are good, let's say we get like similar to crit or fist damage, like 10-15% depending on the roll, then yeah, okay, it's interesting. What if it's more in line with the implicits we had, like a couple percent, then yeah, it's just trash. So it all comes down to how this is going to be implemented, so either good or bad. I'm just not sure yet. Having a harder time crafting the jewels versus getting good mitigation for ailment. Uh, it's gonna depend. And it's giving more potential for six jewel, six stats abyss jewels. If, of course, the stats are good enough. So, I'm gonna have to wait and see for this one. All right, the unique jewels now. Again, could be good or bad. Uh, the things, the thing they say that is true though is that most unique jewels you get like on the floor as random drops, they're pretty much all trash. Uh, I've only used two in SSF in the past leagues, uh, Replica Conqueror's Efficiency which technically doesn't drop randomly, you need to heist for it, and I've used Mantra of, of Flames once uh, on the Lightning, Lightning Strike Raider, so... The others I just shove into the tabs or vendor if I already have them in the tab. That's mostly what I do. I mean, there's Watcher's Eyes, but it's not a common jewel, so I'm not talking about this jewel. So, if the new jewels, they're exciting and they, they're worth the two skill points investment you need to equip them, then I believe it's going to be a good change. Unless, when they say very rare, Unless it's like head on to rare now, that would be really awful in my opinion. So again, it's another another wait and see scenario. So I just don't know. I'm I hope it's gonna be good, but yeah, with the recent leagues, I'm I'm keeping my expectations in check. So yeah, wait and see. Uh, all right, so the quest reward jewels, the unique jewels. Uh, they're getting axed and I'm really happy about that I mean I think I saw some people say that they were pretty much like they were used a lot but I mean who the fuck uses that they were trash I mean maybe early league but even so I don't see why you would use that I would just always shove them into my tab and or render them and just not care so the fact that we get rare jewels is better in my opinion the best, I think, would have been to give build enabling jewels. So if you don't need these jewels, then yeah, it doesn't change anything for you. But if you do need a jewel for your build, then you can at least get it there. You can yonk it and make sure you, you get at least this one. But yeah, rare jewels, it's not all that bad. You could get lucky and get a few, like a jewel with two, three, four good stats. Who knows? Copium. Or you can just keep it for crafting later or trying to corrupt it in, in, a, in a build enabling unique jewels. So all in all, I believe this is a good change. But 
yeah, my preference would have been build enabling jewels as a reward instead of just rare jewels since there's already a quest that gives that, so. But yeah, I mean, not good, not bad, just an improvement in my opinion, but yeah, it could have been something else. Alright, the last part is the build the finding jewels, which I talked about like just now. They can only be acquired through corruption. I don't like that. I mean, you could always get unique jewels by corrupting a unique jewel or a rare that became unique with the corruption. But that being the only way, apart from from one, I believe, combat focus, which is a vendor recipe. I mean, it's not the best, but on the other hand, if it's if there's way fewer unique jewels, then the possible outcome for a corruption there will be less outcomes so it might be easier to get the jewel you want compared to now but again it can't drop it. for trade league it doesn't matter you can just go on the trade side and buy it so it's just for ssf this is worrisome in my opinion so say even if you corrupt the rare jewel and it becomes a unique one getting the one you want with good rolls i mean it might be a pain so we will need to try it first, but I'm not optimistic for that change. This is, in my opinion, the worst part of the manifesto. Uh, overall, if this is well implemented, I assume it's going to be a buff. But again, I'm not optimistic because of the la latest leagues. Let's just hope the next manifestos will get me more hyped and are going to make more impactful changes and positive changes, because this one left me pretty much in the same state I was so let me know down in the, in the comments are you happy are you mad with these changes do you did you do you wish they would have changed something else do you think I'm wrong do you think I'm right let me know in the comments I'm always happy to have a conversation with y'all guys and yeah thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video